Hi everyone, I wanted to show you what to do if you've got a doll with severely damaged hair and a hair, damaged head. This doll, she got plugs missing, her hair was a big oily mess from root to tip. It was vile, the hair on this doll. Um, there was nothing I could do about it. I tried all my usual things to sort of control the glue, like, you know, just to make it look a bit better, but nothing was working on this doll. And because she was missing a big row of plugs from the front of her head, I decided forget it I'll just reroute her or make a wig then if you're going to repaint the doll take the factory paint off if not then leave the factory paint on I'm going to repaint this doll I want to give her like a cuter look so I'm going to repaint her once I've decided on what I'm going to do with her hair and if you squeeze the doll you can get right into the mouth and remove any residue of paint because it's hard to reach in there with a big cotton pad but if you squeeze the mouth it's a lot easier to get in there then take a pair of pliers and scrape around the inside of the head to loosen all the plugs and then pull out the clumps with the pliers out of the head as you can see it's all sticky and messy and that's why it takes ages sometimes to get the hair out because it'll be a big gluey sticky mass inside the head that is where they overrooted where the um, parting was in her hair. What they've done is they've done the two rows of plugs too close together, which has created a hole in the top of her head where the parting was. And obviously I want to repair that before I repaint her. As you can see, the big horrible sticky mess that was in her head. I'd have never, I'd have never have sorted that out. It would have constantly been just a sticky head then use acetone or strong nail polish remover to get rid of the factory paint on the head and to get rid of any glue residue because the head on this doll was really sticky and horrible and then as you can see that's where they've put the plugs too close together where the parting is and that's caused the split in the head and i noticed there was a bit of extra glue and stuff floating around so i just used the hole to help me grab bits i couldn't reach through the neck just to make sure I got most of that horrible gunk out. You could cut the top of the head so you can wipe the inside to remove any lasting little bit of residue, but I didn't bother with that. Then wipe off the acetone traces with um, a baby wipe and put the head back on the doll. Because after you've glued the head, if you put any pressure on the doll, it is possible to reopen that seam or to pop the other bit further forward. So it's easier to put the doll's head on first. And also for that reason, I'm not going to reroute her. I'm going to actually make a wig for her. Apply generous amounts of glue to both sides of the split in the head. And then hold the two ends together. Because they've not been stuck together for a while, it will keep popping open. So you need to make sure you hold the, hold the two sides of the vinyl together until it's dried. And once it's dried, it's never going to look perfect. But you've got a head without a hole in it. Um, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.